Hello. Yes, I'm in a pink bathroom and in a bathtub. Today's project is replacing all four of these old shower valves. Um, a lot of times you can just replace a gasket, but I think the homeowner wants the entire stem completely replaced. Um, so we're going to take this all apart, try not to break anything while we're taking it apart. And then there is a specialty store where I can take this whole stem assembly and show it to them and they should be able to match it up with replacement or replacement parts. I should also tell you, you have to shut the water off before you attempt pulling these stems out of the wall. We've already kind of run into my first issue, as you can see right in here. It's quite corroded. This knob just seats into some splines that are on this shaft here, but it's so corroded it's it's not going to pull off. So I'm going to attempt to disassemble this with this still attached um, and then possibly try to pull this off when it's like on a workbench, not banging against it because this is just brass fitting in here and things can get stripped out. As you can see, we now have access to this packing nut right here, and I think I can get my pliers on it in front of this escutcheon here. And then once this is turned out, this whole stem and assembly just backs right out of the uh, this brass uh, fitting there. Give you a close up. Kind of. Now, if I'm right, this should just come out. It's not. Though. I wonder if I gotta undo this one too. Maybe I do. I might have to do undo that one too. Just got my pliers on there. So far, I've gotten pretty lucky. Everything seems to be coming apart uh, quite easy. Alrighty. There we go. Wow. So if you can see, well, right inside there is a flathead screw right there, and there's a rubber gasket on it. And that's typically all you really need to replace is that rubber gasket. As it gets crushed and worn, uh, the tendency is for people to tighten and tighten and tighten this, and it eventually um, strips out these threads right here. You just pop this off. That's the gasket that usually needs to be replaced. <clears throat> this thing on you? The packing goes in here, and this first threaded piece that I unscrewed, if you snug that down, it pushes, pushes pressure on that packing and seals up around this stem more and more. Um, but it's something that I should replace today while I have all this apart. I think we're going to first see what it would cost to replace the whole thing. That's what the, the homeowner specified is replacing this entire deal here. It's probably going to be a little bit on the expensive side, but I'll get a price and uh, get in touch with them and see what they want to do. Okay, we got all four out. <clears throat> Let me kind of show you what it looks like inside there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. That's the inside. So I'm back from the supply house and um, got a brand new kit here. 
have a feeling that the replacement isn't going to solve the customer's main problem. Um, this specific customer, I don't ever, I don't usually challenge what their diagnosis is. I do a lot of work for him. Um, he owns several properties, and it's just, uh, I just say okay and do whatever they ask. So the symptoms that they were having is the lower valves were working properly, getting good water pressure, excuse me, good water pressure out of the this spigot here. Um, this upper one, when they would turn it on, they'd get water coming out. Um, you know, this goes in here. They had water coming out around the escutcheon and draining down the tile here, but they were still able to shut the water off. Um, to me, that sounds like there's a clog up there at the shower head. And I can almost guarantee it. One, um, this house has galvanized plumbing uh, supply lines, and they rust and they will flake off. And build up you can see the the rust stains in here if I just stick my finger in here you know you can see there's orange all over it um, see the rusty water lots of rusty water um, you don't you would never want to drink the water out of a galvanized house um, so we're gonna put put all these in he's gonna have nice new escutcheons and valves that you know these things will last forever it will be uh, good serviceable life They've got new gaskets, new packing. So yeah, I'm going to put all these back together now. So I'm not going to put the rest of it together until I have the water turned on and I can make sure that there are no leaks and that the packing uh, nuts adjusted properly. I'll look for any drips coming out around the stem and then I'll uh, put this all back together. So the water is all on and what I'm going to do is just crack these open to bleed the water up into the valve just to, to make sure that there's no leaks. There's a lot of orange water coming out. Sometimes these, these older ones will drip for a few, few seconds until all the water is drained out of them. Now, for the upper set, the upper set control the shower head, and the customer told me that he's getting very low flow out of there. I'm gonna get out of the way. <clears throat> And um, my guess is it's still going to be clogged, but you know, could be wrong. All right. So now we've got leaking out of both of these. That's not good. So let's see. <coughs> Now, this inner one, just snug that up. Hopefully you can see this. This inner one, all I did was, was snug this one up and this one up. And you can still see we've got a drip. This one, is, it's all related to the packing nut. So we're going to snug this packing nut up just a little bit. And we're going to snug this one up a little bit. So the packing nuts aren't designed to hold back complete water pressure. These packing nuts prevent this stem from leaking when water is flowing out of the shower head. So since water can't flow out this shower head, a lot of full water pressure is built up in this downpipe and to these valves and this, these packing just can't hold that much pressure. It's not designed to hold it. 
the get the the valves in the back when you when you screw this down and you tighten it up that's designed to hold full water pressure so what's happening is when i open these up full pressure goes up to there and water pressure and then stops and these backing nuts are then trying to hold back full water pressure I want to show you exactly what you can get some good lighting you can see that is all packed full of rust bits of rust and that's why we've got water coming out around our packing and why we don't have water coming out up there so just to test my theory There's that, nothing wrong with these. So that's all the rust bits that I pulled off the screen, the screen filter. And if you can tell, this is what it's supposed to look like. You can compare that to the last video. So we've got all the, the packing nuts adjusted properly to, to hold back the pressure that goes up to the shower head. I was surprised at how much I had to snug down on these outer packing jam nuts. Uh, I actually took the whole thing apart, took the packing nut out, inspected the packing, and put it all back together uh, just to make sure, because I felt like I was tightening it down just a little bit more than was needed. Um, as you can see, um, they will, they'll drip right out at the stem or they'll drip out right at the threads where this goes into here. And... Um, I also adjusted the bottom ones. The bottom ones don't hold as much pressure because there's no like, uh, I mean, it's not squirting out. It's just a free flow coming out here. So you have you don't have to tighten these, these uh, packing nuts as much as you do the shower head. So just about every project that I do, there's always a hitch. You get to the very end or somewhere along the line, a simple project turns into be a little bit of a pain in the butt. These discussions are a little bit different than the old ones. And you can see how far this valve sticks out of the wall. These bottom two were recessed in enough that these discussions fit. So this stem threads in to the actual packing nut. And that's what I got. So what I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna have to do, is um, trim these down and get them all filed so that they still thread into the, these these brass nuts here. So that's, that's what's going to have to happen. As you can see, I got the little stubby piece of brass threaded into there. And perfect. Let's do one more. This one's, uh, maybe I should have cut more off of this one. Still going. There we go. Perfect. Nice and snug. The last thing to do on this little project here is to caulk these in. You can see there's a pretty decent gap just by the shape of the, the tile and the orientation of the valve uh, system in there is just a little bit off. It's not you know, perfectly aligned with the tile. One thing I'm not going to do is caulk the underneath side. I'm going to leave, this one will be a good one, I'm going to leave that, that grout joint right there open. Same with this one, this one, and this one. If these packing nuts ever do start to loosen up in a couple years down the road, you want a way for that water to drip out instead of going behind the wall. Um, and if you start seeing that little drip, you know that all you got to do is back this out, snug down on that packing nut, and you're good to go.
This project is done. Got everything caulked in. Looks nice and neat. Um, I've been posting more handyman projects and not as many remodeling projects. Uh, I just wanted to get some feedback from my subscribers. Uh, do you like seeing these smaller jobs or would you rather just see remodels only? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel.